This is the wonderful second call of the day, and I have to do uh, hold on, hold on. I have to take care of this. But what this is is this is a York YM9M. 080B. This is a modulating permanent split capacitor motor. Or that's that's a permanent split capacitor modulating gas valve. Well, they changed the gas valve. So let me get this out of the box here. Change the gas valve to that with those connections those connections don't match with those connections so I have to put a new control board in and new wiring harness and I think these just tell the board what size the furnace is if I'm not mistaken so So basically, I gotta tear the gas valve out of there. I'm gonna have to rebuild from here to here to get, because I don't know if the gas valve is exactly the same size. It looks to be pretty darn close. So I'll be able to make that work. So. This is a transducer for the gas valve, I'm pretty sure. It's got to be, because I'm wondering where my other line hooks up, and I think that's what this is right here, the transducer line. That's my gas valve line. Oh boy, there's pressure switch lines. Holy smokes. So I gotta rip this apart and get that out of there. So let me start doing that. This is, I'm just gonna put a new union on. Pretty rusted. Um, reuse that pipe. But the screwed up this furnace is so small. I can't take this off. I have to take this off in there to unscrew it. It's wacky. Take that union off up there, undo all that, undo this, take this off here, undo this, rebuild this. Alright, let me get to work. I'm not going to film the whole thing because I do not have enough uh, uh, card space left. So I'll just do here and there. Well, I got into it. Got the gas valve on there. Got a new piece here. Got it all tied in. But <laughs> I got into it. And that's what it turned into. <laughs> Before I know it, I turn around. It's a mess. So I gotta get the I get the board out. Let me get the new board in. <laughs> get all this wire tied up it turned into uh, yeah rat's nest <laughs> all right let me get the new board in there's there's minor differences between these two um, basically some connections down here I think yeah this connections different for my gas valve this connection was two on this board right here. Now it's into one and it's got a harness. That's the same. These are the same. So minor differences in the board. All right, let me get this thing on. So I'm still at that point of, I got everything connected, but my thermostats I got my inducer transducer in, pressure transducer that's ran to the board right here. 
sensor, typical hot neutral, blowers are all spelled out for you, black, blue, yellow, what is that, red, so that's all spelled out on the board. It's the same on that board, it's got a heat sink, which is kind of crazy. Um, but now I'm coming to that, which that's a, a jumper to tell the furnace what it is. So I got an upflow ADB12, red and green. I just had it in my hand. There it is. So it gives you part number. Uh, 99,000 is the last number. And my camera won't focus, but that's a 99,000. So this goes right here. That, that plug, it's kind of like a model plug, but it's got jumpers. <coughs> so I think this is. I think that's for checking gas pressure if I'm not, no, not on this one. So, yeah, I'm about 45 minutes to an hour in this process of painting the ass. Uh, as you can see, this is a retrofit for that just because of that gas valve. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let me get the thermostat wires hooked up and this stuff tied up because this is crazy. I think I'm done. I got all the wires. Here's you got to keep the old harness uh, for the old gas valve because the 24 volts ties into that. So they integrated one plug. They integrated two wires into that plug. I'm missing one. I got it. Got one that goes there. Where is it? Somewhere. All right. Let me find that because I gotta get that plugged in. I know it's missing somewhere, or maybe I have something. Yeah, I got something plugged into the wrong spot. See, that's a coil sensor. This goes down here, internal temp sensor, which is back there by the limit. So, okay, let me get the tape back over this. And it goes there, like, yay. Okay, I'm also made a boo-boo. Okay, let me get this tidy up. I was just talking about all these harnesses, these jumpers. One thing, I started taking my own advice and reading the instructions. It says remove ID plug from old control board, plug it into 10 pin socket on the new board. So I gotta remove this ID plug and plug it into I gotta take this ID plug and plug it into there because on the next line, this is a 33 inch furnace, so on the next line it says, Do not use ID plug supplied with this kit, those are intended for 40 inch furnace models. Will not work correctly in 33 inch models. So, take this out of here. Plug it in here. So I took my own advice and read the directions. And okay, reconnect. And I got everything connected. I just got to bundle everything up. So read the directions. Okay. 
Got all my wires tied up. New gas valve in. All the harness is tied up. Thermostat wires on. And uh, let's try firing this thing up, see what it does. Um, we got to check uh, manifold pressure too. So, but since this thing modulates in so many stages, I don't. I don't know where it will be at. And then the manual says, I'm just going to do it on temporize, I guess. Find out where my temporize is at. And... But, yeah, that's, that's a little iffy. I might have to call and figure out how to check gas pressure on this one. But let me get this thing up and running. Got everything going here. I had a problem getting it started because I had the pressure transducer on the wrong port. That's for modulating the inducer up and down. And to get it into high fire, I called tech support. What you do with no call on this furnace, you hit the test button, and then you apply power to the W to get it up and run it. It'll fire at 70% for 30 seconds, they say. Yeah, it went right up to high stage. So, I got the rollout switch jumped out for the time being. I thought I was having problems there, but that's got to go back on the rollout switch. So, as you can see, I'm overfired. Holy shit, what just happened? inches of water cone. Hold on a second, that can't be right. I don't know what happened. Went up to nine inches, that was crazy. But I'm a little overfired, so this is just like a carrier valve. So take the little knob out there. And you get in here and you're gonna click, click, click. One click at a time. Click. sensor back there where it's gonna fire it is kind of a trick furnace but I don't like modulating so just a note thanks for watching guys <laughs>